All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing a water-based pomade review. It's another basic product on my list. Today's product is gonna be Threads Flores Molding Pomade. So to me, this product is pretty much the Murray's of the water-based world. It's readily available and it's available for cheap as well. So today we're just gonna be taking a look at the container itself what the pomade actually is and what it can do for my hair and at the end of the day after eight hours of work I'm gonna see how long or how well it does throughout the day so let's go ahead and take a look at the container so Thress Flores comes in this plastic container that's six ounces which is typically larger than your usual pomade containers that's not too much of a problem you got your green lid on top the label on the clear body with nothing on top, no designs on the bottom, everything is on the label. Directions and ingredients on the back. Pretty straightforward. Opening up the can, you're going to get this clear pomade that's yellow in color and translucent in actual characteristic. You guys can see my crusty finger is moving back and forth. Consistency is pretty solid throughout. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the application process. Um, opening the can itself, you guys are gonna get this very floral, very aromatic scent. It's soft to the nose. Um, it's not as overpowering as the original pomade itself, but that scent is pretty apparent once you open the can. Scooping this stuff out is pretty easy. Scoops out like cream it's got a strong consistency where the product isn't gonna slide off your finger. Um, I don't know what that means for the products, you know, ingredients and all that, but there seems to be a lot of water going into this pomade considering how translucent it is. So, my previous experience of using this product itself, I've required maybe like two, three, or four, depending on, you know, how my hair is that day scoops of this product to use so consistency of the product is solid throughout the texture is cream like as I've said um, scent is very floral and as you guys rub it through your hands it just melts pretty much like lotion which apparently I need for my damn hands <clears throat> So right now, I'm on my second scoop. The smell is a little bit strong right now, but with my experience on this product in the past, the smell does subside a little bit throughout the day. So for sure right now, two scoops isn't gonna do it. Um, if you guys take a look on the blog, James has done a review for this way back in the day. I believe this was his second review of a water-based pomade. It didn't disappoint him, but for me, it works out all right in the case of my hair. So, at three scoops, I feel like it's enough. I get this like nice, firm, hold from the product at this point if i see any like stray hairs of course i'll add more to it but let's go ahead and take a look at the actual combing process all right just to comment on the application process itself for a product that is very watery very smooth and very easily spread throughout your hands I didn't expect any kind of tugs or, you know, any resistance from it going through my hair. And the scent itself isn't crazy overpowering now that I can't smell anything else. Combing it through, I do get the sense of there's a little bit of dryness, almost comparable to Suavecito, but it's combing a lot easier than Suavecito and for me this product is lighter than Suavecito this is just to give you guys a comparison um, right off the bat the control the whole of the product is pretty good for what it's worth I didn't expect it to be you know 
almost of a medium level pomade. Um, you get a nice slickness to it if you guys are going for a slick back. I got a pretty nice, you know, hold from it from just, you know, applying it through a finger kind of comb. Um, let's go ahead and start with actual pumping process. We're going to go ahead and do the part. So one thing to comment about this product is that it's not crazy slick. You guys, you guys are not going to get this like crazy shine from the product as with most water bases. You guys are going to get this dry, almost matte kind of look to it. So the slickness is pretty much not apparent. <clears throat> you don't get this crazy kind of shine. Um, from my experience, you get a lot of strays by the end of the day. Just judging from what I see now and what I feel from my hair, this product is holding my hair down in place, but that comes from its dryness factor where it kind of just, you know, freezes my hair in place. So, for how long my hair is, it's doing a pretty good job, and how thick it is, it's holding it down really well. What I don't like so far for this product is that I already get the sense, you know, if you leave it in for a long time, it's going to dry up your hair. And right now, that wet kind of feeling I got initially from the product, it's slowly disappearing. And what I'm left with is this kind of, you know, this light kind of feel to my head that I didn't really apply any product. Which some of you guys have asked questions about and maybe this is a product for you. So, the hold coming from this product is good. I wouldn't say it's great. Good because, as I've said, I feel like it's coming from the dryness factor. It's not coming inherently from the product itself. I don't know if that actually makes any sense. But my hair does just feel like it's frozen in place. I'm going to predict that this product can't be recombed unless you actually use more product so as James has excuse me so James has done a review for this product in the past it did meet his standards for that time but considering that it's only his second water base at the time it's understandable so for the actual height of the pump, I feel like I could get it a little higher, but for me, I'm going to work. I'm not going to sport this, you know, fancy pump, this flashy style in front of other people. Maybe on the weekends, yes. But for me right now, what I get is a nice solid hold, a couple of strays. The sides are held down okay. There are parts where, you know, it's impossible to hold down with this kind of hold of a pomade. The scent isn't too overpowering and you get a nice matte kind of feel to it. So hopefully it holds up for the next 8 to 9 hours. See you guys then. Okay, so it's been about 10 hours since I've last applied the pomade. Um, what I get from the product is that it's a pretty good product overall. It's not something I would go to on a day to day basis um, at this point in time of the day the control factor is still there. There is not much of a slickness anymore. My hair has a lot of straight hairs sticking out at this point. I try to recomb it during the middle of the day and that just led to a poofy mess. The hair itself feels really dry. Um, it's comparable to Suavecito in terms of dryness, hardness, and that crustiness. You just basically take away that crustiness and you're left with treth floors. Um, you don't get that crazy, you know, hard hold that Suavecito provides, but you get a pretty decent hold. What I don't get for my type of hair is that the pump itself hasn't stayed out or it hasn't like, you know, endured the day. It now has flattened to pretty much a comb over slash slick back. That's not something I want from a product and given that this is a medium hold based product, it's, you know, it met expectations. It didn't meet my expectations, but 
it did provide me with what it was advertised. So for me, I think this product is good for those with shorter hair, those with thinner hair or finer hair, or those with straighter hair. This might be, you know, enough amount of hold for you to like tame your hair to the way you want. But for those who have longer hair, wavier hair or thicker hair, you either need more product, which I'm not too fond of. That's like not really getting the bang for your buck kind of deal. So overall, good product. I'm very content with what was advertised and what was actually, you know, performed by the product. But am I satisfied with it? No, it's pretty much a good gateway to the water based world. It's something I use to degrease my hair if I'm using too much oil based products and I do feel that nasty buildup. But I don't recommend, not I don't recommend, but I don't use this on a day to day basis for more important things like work, where I do have a higher standard for myself when I'm in the public's view. So that's pretty much all I got to say about the product. Hopefully you guys got some helpful tips from this video. Until next time, peace.